Hello, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we're going to talk about chiropractic and the nervous system. This is so significant because I know some of you right now have been suffering for years with health challenges and you don't know what to do. And I know this because I see it in my practice every day. We'll have individuals that will come in with chronic health challenges that have been commonly caused, are you ready for this, after trauma or an injury. The birth process itself can be quite devastating to individuals. You could have a child that you might say, well, he's been sick since the beginning of his life. And what happened to him or her is that the birth process could have been quite traumatic, compromising nervous system function. Why is that? Well, your spinal cord and your nervous system is the very first organ system in your body to develop. And off of your nervous system, or all the nerves that go to all the organs and tissues in your body. Your body has the innate ability to heal itself. So when you go to your healthcare provider, your healthcare provider does not heal you. Your body heals you. But your body needs information. Do you know that your brain sends out 28 bits of 28 billion bits of information every day to the rest of your body? Your body is like one massive computer. Actually, it's even better than a computer. So your brain will send a message, let's say to your stomach as you're eating food that you swallowed that you don't even think about it. That happens automatically through what we call the autonomic nervous system. I would like to challenge you to this. Count how many times you blink in a moment. How many breaths do you take in a minute? How many pulses occur in your body in a minute also? Well, you can't even think about what I just said, let alone keep track of those. And your body not only is taking care of that vital information, it's taking care of all the other information compounded. So it's going on and on and on. Well, right now, your heart is beating at 72 beats per minute. What I have found from my experience, when you have misalignment or subluxation in your spine that compresses tiny sensitive nerves, Whatever organ that nerve goes to is not going to function optimally. So what I also have seen from experience is on the top part of your neck, that particular vertebra, the second cervical vertebra, is commonly out of alignment when we take spinal motion films. In other words, we'll take a flexion and extension film of a person's spine and we'll see misaligned vertebra. And we will correct that misaligned vertebra and oftentimes patients will come back and they'll say, wow, I haven't felt like this in years. I had one young girl that got off of our spinal correcting table and she smiled at me and she said that was faster than her antihistamine. What occurs is this. Your brain sends messages down the spinal cord. It sends it down with purpose if you wanted to move your finger or it sends it down automatically. Once again, like I mentioned to you with your autonomic nervous system. So I know that many of you sit at work. You might not have the very best posture, and I'm not picking on any one of you, but there's a vertebra in the mid part of your spine, which is the thoracic vertebra, the sixth thoracic vertebra. It innervates the nerves that go to your stomach. So you could have chronic digestive distress because of misalignment to the vertebra that's compressing the nerve going to your stomach. So you may have been taking proton pump inhibitors for years and you go and you visit your chiropractor that's skilled in assessing this. He gives you the appropriate necessary spinal correction and your digestive distress goes away. Probably one of the most common ones that I see on a regular consistent basis is misalignment or subluxation of the first lumbar vertebra that's in your lower part of your spine and it affects bowel function, whether it be diarrhea or constipation. So we can tell by assessing films what organs are going to be impaired. And ladies, I know that so many of you right now, you suffer with menstrual-related headaches. What we have seen is that if you have misalignment of the vertebra that go to the nerves, that go to your ovaries, that if you have subluxation in the lumbar part of your spine, if your ovaries are not making the hormones, you could have an estrogen-related headache. And I talk about this 
in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. But probably the most significant are children. If you have a child that wakes up with a fever, we often find misalignment to the upper part of the spine. We will literally hang our children upside down, having the mom hold the child by the thighs, and I look to see which way the head shifts. And we have a little instrument that we use to make the appropriate and necessary correction. We also will do a thermography in our practice and I would encourage you to locate a skilled chiropractor that does thermography also because I know that there are literally millions of you suffering worldwide right now and you don't know what to do. You've been taking medications. There have been research that's been reported on the major networks that will say that a properly uh, aligned chiropractic adjustment to the upper vertebra in your spine can lower blood pressure up to 17 points. And I know if you're a very proactive person and you're watching this uh, video clip right now that you are tired of taking medications and you want answers to your tough problems. Well, I want to share with you, have someone assess your posture. And if your posture is off like this, or you have someone take a picture of your side posture, and if your ear are not over your shoulder and your shoulder is over your hips, your nervous system is being compromised, much like your brain is not sending messages to all the organs in your body. It's like your computer not being able to communicate with your printer and all the other modalities that are attached to it. If you've been involved in any type of motor vehicle accident or sports injury, and if you were born with a cesarean section, that's right, C-sections can be quite traumatic to the birth process. If you had a motor vehicle accident any time in your life and it was not been treated accordingly, you could be suffering today. So please, do yourself a favor if you've been suffering. Get checked. Have your spine and nervous system checked appropriately. I promise you, you'll be glad you did.